what's going on guys welcome back to another video hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always haven't been on YouTube for a couple months um, life just gets in the way yeah that's all I gotta say uh, been busy with work uh, side business and all everything else trying to get this thing running been to the track a couple times uh, I know you guys are probably dying to see that stuff so I'm just gonna throw that in uh, probably at the end of the video it's running okay-ish, and the reason we're working on it today is, well, I forgot to say that, we're working on the black truck today, and the reason for that is we're trying to fix some of those issues we've been having. Is it going to fix them completely? I don't know. Does it need this regardless? Yes. So, what we're doing today is we are installing a PPE dual fueler kit. I already got it kind of put together, the main assembly, uh, pretty easy. I painted... Painted that black and a couple other things black, so that's kind of why I put it together. But um, pretty straightforward. Bracket goes on it. That little thing goes on there. You tighten everything down, put the wheel on, torque it, and yada, yada, yada. So I really haven't found a video out there that when somebody actually installs one of these. It's not too hard, but I figured I'd just make it so it's out there. And Yeah, so we're just going to hop right into this. All right, so I'm just going to run through the kit real quick. Um, I'm doing a little bit of a custom fuel line. That's kind of why the stock fitting is still on there. Um, so the kit comes with the wheel, the bracket, uh, a new fitting for the back of the pump, and it comes with that bracket and then all the hardware for that. Um, comes with a new idler pulley, uh, which goes a different place for different belt routing. Our belt under there, our high pressure fuel lines, um, the bolts that replace the AC compressor bolts, a bunch of hardware and hose clamps and stuff. Um, we're not using too much of this stuff. Uh, as you can see, I don't know how the heck fuel even gets over to the pump using that. This is what you splice your line uh, in your main line, and that goes over to this dual CP3. Don't even know how that would work because it's like. A, it's a half inch to three eighths, so that's restrictive there, and it's on a T, so fuel just isn't getting places it should be. Um, I am going to use that for the return. Uh, some of these lines, that's supposed to be the main feed line, not using that. Return line, probably using that, and the return line here, probably going to use that, just because uh, simplicity of it. And then over here we have, uh, that's the fitting it comes with. It's a 3 8 barbed fitting. Not going to use that. I'll probably hang on to it just because I'm always working on somebody's junk and probably throw it on there. There's our fitting for the back of the rail. Um, this is like a, it's like a distribution block type deal. It mounts to your valve cover and then your fuel pressure relief valve is supposed to go in there like that and then that'll return back to the factory return. Um, but I have a plug in this, so I'm gonna run the plug, and as long as I'm not seeing fuel spikes, uh, we're just gonna send it. And then last but not least, our controller. First things first, we're gonna pop this belt off. Just like so. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to completely remove this. All right, so next we're going to install this pulley. Um, got this little uh, piece that goes on the back side of the pulley. And then it just goes on that little nub right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get that installed. Alright, so I'm going to put the big, uh, the pump and the pulley and everything in here. So, uh, these two 15 millimeter bolts. Of course, that one's not going to fit. Here, keep one of these and, uh, that little part on the back side of the pump is going to go right through there. So, like I said... You can lose one too if you want, but I recommend keeping one. 
All right, well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So I did make one little mistake, um, which this was the only part that really wasn't in, it comes with these instructions. This was the only thing that wasn't in these instructions was how to assemble this part of it. And this, everything's straightforward except for this bracket. And I thought it went the other way, but um, so it goes like this. Um, I had it this short side on here and it like there was a gap here because I thought that it like rode over it or something but so I got that spun around and then the other thing this wasn't really made 100% right so I had to add a washer back there um, so yeah so I just I put a bolt through it and then held that as I tightened that bolt back there and uh, lined it all up so now we're gonna put this thing on So next we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to throw the belt on this thing so I can get the front all buttoned up and then uh, yeah we'll catch back up with you guys then. Alright so we're back. Um, it is a couple days later. I was waiting on some parts but I got the belt on which personally I think is going to be the hardest part of this whole job. Um, if you've ever done a belt on one of these LMMs, I mean there's zero room. So belt's on. Um, I got my the upgraded fitting. I don't know if it'll ever focus. Let me let me get this thing. All right, there you go. So I got my upgraded fitting. Uh, that's the feed for the CP3. Uh, I got that installed, and now I'm gonna. This is a union, so this runs to the factory CP3 in the valley. That comes from my lift pump. So I'm gonna pull this apart, and I'll put this Y in there. Uh, this is all dash eight. So I'll put that Y in there, and then I got fitting there, and I already got a fitting over on this side, and we're just gonna make up our next little piece of fuel line. <laughs> All right, so I just uh, pulled my, my plug out of the back of the fuel rail. You saw me uh, trying to break that loose. I ended up just putting the end of a ratchet strap on it and pulling it, but um, so. Got that out. This is the replacement plug so that we can put these high pressure lines onto this. On the LBZ LMM kits, which I think is like a one kit for everything now, they want you to put the, the fuel pressure relief valve back in there. Well, I don't have a stock fuel pressure relief valve, so uh, yeah, it's just going to get plugged and we're going to send it. So I haven't really been recording much of this. Um, I got the high pressure line on. Uh, there's that little piece I showed you. Kind of not the easiest, um, especially being that a lot of this is kind of custom. Like, uh, so you see that kind of, that's going to hit that. So I'm going to have to, oh, let's see, let's see that again. All right, so that little Y I just put in there, it's kind of sitting right on top of that. I really didn't think about that. So I'll probably uh, wrap this with a piece of rubber. Um, just so it's not sitting there vibrating and then my glow plug modules got to go back up there yet and then I'm hoping that my hot air pipe fits in there decent-ish um, this half inch feed is kind of sitting a little goofy just because of this high pressure line um, I think I think I might do it a little bit different here in the not so near future um, I think I'm gonna order like a 30 degree fitting um, for here so it kicks it off over here and then uh, I'll shorten up the line that goes the back line I'll shorten that up and move this whole Y kind of up and under here that way it's not there and kind of out of the way a little bit so plan for that um, I got the return line on you see that uh, it's just uh, just got it running down through there heat in that might be a little different than kind of what you're gonna do just because it's a little bit a little bit custom here what I'm gonna do for now I'm gonna throw the glow plug module back up there get the harness um, put on and plugged in and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and fire this without the the pipes on just to make sure everything's uh, working good so I can see back there and make sure I have no leaks so yeah, we'll catch up with you guys when we're doing that. Here's the final product. Um, I went ahead and the harness is super simple. You just 
plug it into the factory CP3, plug it in here, hook up on the batteries, and I just got it tucked right over there. Um, and then all I had left was the charge pipe and the intake, and that was it. So it's all done. Uh, I fired it already. It's all, I did that off camera. It wasn't too exciting, no leaks, nothing like that. Um, the one thing I didn't put on was the uh, return line from the uh, where the fuel pressure relief valve would be um, to the return. So I didn't put that on because there's obviously not going to be any fuel getting past it. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see if that works or not. I don't think I'm going to have any issues with like splitting lines or anything like that. So we'll find out. If we do, we do. No big deal. Um, but, so like I said, I had already fired this thing, and it's got a belt squeak. And I remember earlier in the video I told you guys that it didn't look super like lined up. Um, well, it's clearly not. So now we're gonna go ahead and kind of diagnose and get this thing fixed. And uh, it's probably something pretty useful. I haven't seen anybody on YouTube uh, kind of diagnose the belt squeak on one of these dual CP3 kits, and I know for a fact that it's this uh, dual CP3 kit that's misaligned um, literally maybe a thousand miles ago I just put uh, all new idler pulleys on and it didn't have a belt squeak before all right well we ended up getting it fixed um, I threw a washer one washer behind this bolt I had to loosen up this uh, bottom bolt that mounts the CP3 to the bracket again loosen that up and then I loosened up the bottom one and then kind of just pulled the whole thing forward all right well just took it for a drive and that didn't fix it so uh, it fixed it a little bit until I put it under load and then uh, like boosted launch load but um yeah so that's gonna do it for this video we're gonna fix it in the next video um i can kind of see what's going on and uh we'll see if we can't fudge some pulleys around in and out wise and uh get this thing lined up better so that's gonna do it for this one if you guys are stopping in for the first time don't forget to hit that subscribe button like it up on the way out and we'll catch you guys in the next one